Hey everyone, I'm super excited to introduce Locofy and give you guys a quick walkthrough of how it all works. Locofy is an AI-powered designer and developer tool that automatically converts your designs into developer-friendly front-end code with just one click. We allow you to build UI 10 times faster with your existing design tools, libraries, tech stacks, and CI-CD workloads. Let's jump into a quick demo. So in my Figma file over here, I've got an Airbnb style website with three frames. The homepage consists of a search bar and a grid of cards showing various accommodations. When a user clicks on the first card, they get directed to this subpage that shows the accommodations details. And finally, the third frame over here is just a simple signup page. I've gone ahead and launched the Locofy plugin. Now let me create a new project call it localhost website, select team Locofy, that's fine. I'm building a website, let's choose React as the web framework. In the code settings here, TypeScript looks good. Let's also select Tailwind for styling and go ahead and create project. So over here, I'm prompted to connect a component library if I have one. We have a deep dive video to explain exactly how this works. So be sure to check that out. For now, I'm just gonna select Material UI as my UI library. And that's it, I've created my project. Alrighty, it looks like we're good to go. I'm gonna start converting this to code. Let's select the home page only, and you'll see that Locofy instantly recognizes that my design is a prototype that's already connected to two other frames. It's offering to also convert those frames into code and preserve my prototype interactions. Now, this is where all the magic happens. Local AI is automatically optimizing my design, tagging interactive elements, applying responsiveness, renaming layers to make them more contextual, and automatically detecting components and prompt. So it looks like it's all done. You can see the generated React code at the bottom panel over here. It's all developer-friendly semantic code, so it's easy to understand and make any changes should you need to. Just above is the live preview. Now, this isn't the same as a typical prototype. This is a real preview that has been rendered from the code that Locofy generates. Things like text inputs and date pickers are fully interactive. They're using the MUI library that I initially selected when creating the project. I can also drag these handles on the right here to reduce the viewport width and see how Locofy has automatically applied responsiveness. Everything is resizing and collapsing perfectly. Now let's try clicking on the first card in the grid here. And you can see that it's linked to the sub page. Locofy preserves my prototype interactions, including navigation between frames. Okay, now I think we're all done with the preview mode. Let's head on over to the edit mode by clicking on the switch on the top right here. This is where we can review all the decisions that local AI has made and make any changes. On the left panel over here, you can see all the decisions categorized and I can click into each one to view every single decision that has been made. Let's take a quick look at all the components and props that local AI has created. So we have the hitter over here, we have some cards over here, we have the hero container, and finally the hitter. So let's take a look at the listing item component over here. If I click on the pencil icon, I can see all the properties that were created. Let's try editing one of them. So for the listing title property, let's click on the edit icon, and let's try changing this title to Lakeside Cabin. So when I click on save over here, you should see the title Brightwood Cabin change. And that's it. That's super simple. Besides looking at the local AI decisions from a global point of view, I can also look at it from a single layer point of view. So let's switch to the layer panel on the left here. I can select any of these layers in the layer panel, or I can just select the layer from the live prototype. So let's go ahead and click on the date picker field here. And you can see that on the right panel, local AI has automatically tagged this layer as a date and time picker. And that's why I'm able to interact with it and trigger a date picker when I click on it. 
Local AI has also renamed the layer automatically to make it more useful, but it seems like it didn't do too great of a job. So let me go ahead and rename that manually. Let's do check in date picker. Perfect, so that's a lot better. We all know AI isn't perfect. So Locofy gives us the tools to make any changes you want to make your design perfect. And that's how powerful and flexible Locofy is. And lastly, just like inspecting an element in your web browser, you can also inspect any layer in Locofy and directly edit its CSS. So I'm currently on the inspect mode and I've selected the form over here. The CSS code is reflected on the right panel where I can view, edit, and even add media queries. This provides you with an alternative way to edit layers. And if you're a developer who prefers a more code first approach, then this is a much faster way for you to get in those styling changes. Awesome, I think we're ready to go. Everything looks great. So let's click on the sync button at the top right. We can either sync our project to the Locofy Builder or to our GitHub repo. Let's sync it to the Locofy Builder. Yes, let's select all the frames and sync to Builder. This will just take a few seconds. I'll see you guys at the Locofy Builder. Great, so it looks like our project has been synced. We're now in the Locofy Builder, and this is where all the final pieces of the puzzle come back together. If you're collaborating with the rest of your team on different sections of your design, everything is seamlessly merged and collated in the Locofy Builder. Over here, I can share the prototype with various stakeholders or clients to get alignment and buy-in. And if I wanna make any final changes to the code settings over here, I can do so by clicking on this gear icon. You can also bind data to any of your components by clicking here. You can check out our docs for a detailed guide on how to do this. Okay, I think everything is set now. There's a big blue button on the top right where I can sync, export, or deploy my project. So let's go ahead and click on that. The first option I see is to sync to GitHub. Localfy does smart code merge and provide a three-way conflict resolution editor to continuously iterate and keep GitHub in sync. There's a deep dive video that you can check out to learn more. I'll link it in the description below. The other options available are to pull it into VS Code, export it as a zip, or just deploy it to any one of these other options. That was a super quick overview of Locofy for you. We accelerate your product team and help you go to market lightning fast. We're super excited for you to try us out and experience Locofy for yourself. We have a bunch of sample projects on our Figma community profile to get you started. I've added a link to the description below. You can also check out the next video in our series where we do a deep dive on how to connect your existing design systems and import your custom components into Locofy. But that's all for now. We cannot wait to see what you build with Logify.